In this video, let's try and figure out the probability of winning game idea number two. Let's refresh our memory. Game number two involves five marbles being placed in a bag, two red marbles and three blue marbles. The contestant will then select one marble from the bag and without replacing it will choose a second marble. If both marbles selected are red, the person will win a nice prize. Otherwise, they will win nothing. So, what do you think? What is the probability of winning? Hmm, well, there are a few ways of doing this, but one of the nice brute force ways of doing it is just to create a probability tree. Here's what I mean. There are five different things that could happen when the first marble is selected. Two ways to get red and three ways to get blue. And so those are our first row of branches. Great. And now we'll work with each branch and figure out the next row of possibilities. So let's look at the first branch there where one of the red marbles is selected. What do you think are the next row of possibilities? Actually, why don't you try it? Pause the video to do that and then click play to resume when you're ready. So sometimes people are tempted to just repeat the first row in the second row every time without thinking. So five different options again for each one like so. But if we did that, we would actually be wrong. And can you tell why? Did you notice that the question said that the first marble isn't returned? That's huge. If we did return it, it would mean that all five marbles could be chosen again and the tree we've drawn here would be correct. But if we don't replace the marble, it changes everything. For instance, if we don't replace it, then there is now one less marble to choose from. So instead of five branches in the second row for each option, it's only four, like so. Okay, that's a big difference, isn't it? But wait, there's more. For instance, let's say the first choice was one of those red marbles again, right here. That means that this red marble is no longer in the bag anymore, is it? The three blue marbles are still in there, but one of those reds is gone, which means that there is only one way to get a red marble on the second draw, isn't there? Not two ways like before. And yet there are still three ways to get blue marbles. Anyway, that would be the branch of choices for that first draw of a red marble. Let's keep working down the tree. The next option is still a red marble, just the other one but it still leaves us with the same scenario of options, doesn't it? There is still only one red marble left and three blue marbles. And that's it. Done. Okay, now for the blue marble. Actually, why don't you try this one yourself? Go ahead, pause the video and resume when ready. So with one blue marble already drawn, we can still draw either of the two red marbles. But now, there are only two blue marbles left, not three. And yep, that's it. <laughs> that's our correct second branch there. Nice. And of course, the remaining two are just the same, aren't they? There are two red marbles left and two blue marbles left. Okay, nice. We have completed the probability tree. This shows us every single possibility that could happen, which is great because we want to figure out the probability of getting two red marbles. Okay, go ahead, pause the video, and try to calculate the probability of getting two red marbles here. And then, when you're ready to proceed, click play to continue. Okay, let's figure this out. It looks like there are a total of 20 branches if we add them all up. And out of those 20 possible outcomes, this one has two red marbles being picked. And this one has two red marbles being picked. And that's it, isn't it? Every other branch has at least one blue marble in there somewhere. And so we can calculate the probability of getting two red marbles as 2 out of 20, or 1 out of 10, or 10%. Okay, that's it. How did you do? Did you get that one right? If not, don't worry about it. With practice, it will get easier and easier. You'll see. 
But just before we sign off on this video, did you know there's an even easier way to calculate that using probability trees? <laughs> Are you curious? That'll be our next video.